I've been using Bitwarden as my password manager for the last two years for the following reasons. Number one, it's open source software, meaning reputable developers or third party security firms can come in and audit the code to make sure the security is always improving. Number two, Bitwarden has a really strong encryption. That's something you need to look at when you choose a password manager. And most importantly, I have not yet paid a penny. It's a completely free app for you to use. So if you don't have a password manager yet and you're seriously considering one or you heard about Bitwarden but don't know how to use it, how to install it on different operating system and your browsers, and most importantly, how to organize these passwords and how to do the settings in and out, this video is dedicated for you. And make sure you stick to the end of this video so you won't miss any tips and tricks I mentioned along the way. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting right now. All right, the first thing we're going to do is come to bitwarden.com. The link is in the description below. The first thing before we download anything is actually having an account with Bitwarden. Just come to the top right corner, it says get started. So I'm going to use this one time email just for demonstration purpose. But in your case, you should be using your own email. There's only one password you need to remember at all time. It should be your master password. I'm going to give you two tips right here. Tip number one is come to to this website the link is in the description below you know there's data breaches happening every single day so your email could be already leaked out out there and that's why you probably receive a lot of spam messages for example I'm entering an old Gmail that I used to have and if I click on point question mark it's going to tell you oh no my email has been actually leaked out before through data breaches and it's also going to tell you which exact platform that leaked out my email address so the reason I want you guys to check this first is because you don't want to use an email address that's already pruned, you know, so what you want to do is use something that's safe. Another example is this email I'm using to sign up for Bitwarden as a demonstration. Enter this email, click on pruned, and it's going to tell you good news that data has not been leaked out. Same thing here. You don't want to use a password that you already use elsewhere. For example, this is one of the really old password I used to have many years ago. Ago. if I click on enter and it's going to tell me this password has also been leaked out through data breaches do not use this such password as your master password just for security and safety reason which leads to the third website here is called a password generator by Bitwarden by the way this password generator is also built into the Bitwarden software as well but what you can do is come to password freezes here and then you can choose the words let's go with the four words so what you can do is actually generate a password that is much more secure that has a symbol in there all you need to do is to memorize these four words and that's basically your password these words have no association to each other right they're just very random words if you can memorize these words then that could be a really strong master password for you if you don't like this password you can always click on regenerate in this case i'm going to copy to my clipboard and now i'll come back to bitwarden create a new account. I'm going to grab this password, enter it here, and it's going to tell you either it's a strong or weak password. And we're going to retype it here. And then you can always create a password hint just in case if you totally forgot your password two years down the road. And you can always look at the hint to remember what that could be and check this box, click on submit. That is it. And now we have officially created a Bitwarden account. I'm going to enter my master password again to log in to Bitwarden. This is how the back end looks like. And the first thing obviously you want to do is you want to verify your email by click on the top right corner, verify your email by clicking on this link sent to your email. As soon as you created a new account with Bitwarden, the first thing you want to do is actually download the extension to your browser. So just come to bitwarden.com, come to the top menu bar, click on download. We're going to skip the desktop first because we're going to straight jump into the web browser. In here, you just choose the browser that you use. In my case, I'm using Firefox for demonstration purpose. Just give it a click. It should redirect you to the add-ons page. I just need to click on add to Firefox and then click on add to confirm add 
adding this add-on to my browser just to show you guys on Chrome or Brave once you install it you want to click on the top right corner click on this icon and you want to pin this extension and you can move it into the front of these extension role the idea here is that you want to make sure you pin the extension it's always showing on the top right corner so in here you can see that the Bitwarden is not here on Firefox I'm going to right click click on customize toolbar drag Bitwarden on top of here you can see here Bitwarden extension has just showed up here on my top right corner every time when you quit and reopen your browser or you restart your entire computer you're going to see this lock button that's because it's locked you just need to click on it once enter your master password click on enter and unlock it this way that means your Bitwarden account is unlocked at the moment once you're done with that the next thing we want to do is we want to stop letting the browser to remember the password so for Chrome or Brave in this case click on the top right corner click on this menu bar and you want to come to settings in the settings you can always search for something called a password in this case we're going to come to auto fill section something called a password if you see this auto sign in is turned on you want to turn it off as well as offer to save password we don't want the browsers to keep having these pop-ups to offer to save the password because we want Bitwarden to handle that these two options are turned on you want to turn them off I'm going to use Etsy and TradingView as an example. These are two different, completely different platforms. If you already have an account with this platform, for example, like Etsy, all you need to do is sign in normally because the Bitwarden extension is in work right now. Every time when you see this top bar showed up says, would you like Bitwarden to remember the password for you? You can always choose one of the folders and click on save. And I'm going to get into the folder in a moment. I'm going to sign out here and the second scenario scenario is this platform is completely brand new you don't have an account with them I'm gonna click on sign in top right corner there is a register button or somewhere on this website should say sign up and now you want to leave this form and immediately you want to click on a bit warden and you want to choose add a new login and now it's going to automatically populate the name which is the domain name etsy.com and then type is going to be login type for username you want to enter your email address and then password all you need to do is click on the third icon that's going to generate a password for you so for password types we have two types it's either password or passphrase either or but I recommend password for length we can go with 14 digits or all the way up to 128 digits you can go anywhere between 14 16 to 18 and then we can also check on these checkbox to say we want to include capital letters lowercase we want to include numbers Numbers, and we also want to include special symbols okay that way that your password is super secure you can see on the top corner it generated for you you have a three more parameters at the bottom to tell Bitwarden to generate a minimum numbers let's say I want to include three numbers in my password or I also want to include three special letters in my password once you're done with that you just click on select on the top right corner by click on the second eye icon you can reveal the password for you to see it or or you can click on the first button here to check if the password has been compromised or exposed by data breaches and so forth you can see here this password has not been found in any of the database Bitwarden is also going to do is actually scan your domain automatically detected that I am on Etsy.com and you can always add a new URL for Bitwarden to detect which URL belongs to this account and now next section is going to be folder and this is what I strongly recommend you guys to use to create different folders for different purposes I'm going to show you guys in a second right after creating this account at the bottom you're going to see a section says notes and here what you can type certain things just to help you remember or memorize what this account is for so that's all you need to do for custom fields we're not going to touch it at the moment when you're done with everything here and click on save you can see that the top right corner says one that means there's one account that's detected with 
with Etsy. Once you're done with that, you want to click on this option once so it will automatically deploy auto field email address you entered on Bitwarden as well as the password we created here. And now for name, I'm just going to enter my first name here. I'm going to click on register. So just now I created a new account under Etsy and the Bitwarden remembered my account. I'm going to log out here. In future, all you need to do is come to any one of these platforms, click on sign in, click on the Bitwarden extension here and click on this once. It will automatically autofill your email address and your password. You just need to sign in. And now right there, I want to show you guys how to create different folders. Click on Bitwarden extension. You're going to see the second tab says my vault. In here, we have a one account created, but that doesn't have any folder yet. In order to create folder, what you do is come to the settings tab. First option says folder. Top right corner, click on the plus. You want to create a new folder. I'm going to call this folder personal. I'm creating another folder called as business and click on save. You can create more folders like I do here. You can effectively organize all your password under these folder structures. Now we want to go back for a second and come to a tab option. You want to click on the first icon and you want to click on edit and you want to scroll down. Remember earlier we didn't put this password in a specific folder because we didn't create any folder. And now click on this drop down option. You're going to see these four folders I created through this account under my personal folder. Click on save. And now this way when I come to my vault, you're going to see it's really nice organized in terms of all the folder structure. All my business passwords are going to the business folder and all my personal are going to the personal folder. And now I'm going to show you guys a little bit faster pace of how to do it on different platform. I'm going to click on get started, click on sign up and I'm going to click on email. You want to leave this on this page and you want to click on the Bitwarden and you want to add a new login. That is my email address as my username and I want to generate a new password. Click on select and uh, I want to put this under the folder of business. If you want to put some notes in there, go ahead. You see, it takes less than 10 seconds to quickly create an account that has a really secure password on it and click on save and then that's it. And I'm going to click on this option once. So in this particular case, I'm going to copy paste my email and enter on the second field here. Click on the checkbox for terms and agreement and create an account. So immediately I just created another account on our trading view. And then you can see also the Bitwarden is indicating to me that there is one password that's saved under this domain. And quickly, if I click on this once, click on edit, you can see that this URL is actually not the full URL. It's actually GoPro and it says source and so forth. This is actually the sign up email. So in that case, sometimes what I like to do is just copy this naked domain and just click on add a new URL. I want to punch in the original URL of this platform and then click on save. And now you can see that under login section, we have a two accounts created. And then under the folder structure, you're going to see one password went to business folder. The second password is actually saved on the personal folder. All right, guys, in this next segment of the video, I'd like to show you guys how to use Bitwarden on iOS or Android devices. The steps are really straightforward. Make sure you follow along. Go to App Store. If you are on Android, just go to Google Play Store. You want to search for Bitwarden and then it's the first app you want to download. You want to install because we have already created a Bitwarden account. So I'm going to go with the login option. Just type in your email address and your master password and click on login. And you can see here, I have successfully logged into Bitwarden with my iPhone. There's one extra step you want to do. Come to settings and I want to scroll up so I can bring up the search bar. In the search bar, you want to search autofill. It's the first option says autofill passwords. Under the first option it says autofill password. You can see here I have an autofill password turned on. However, Bitwarden is not checked yet. You want to give it a click and you want to enter your master password to enable the autofill feature. 
feature. You can see here I have turned on auto fill feature. So moving on forward when I'm browsing on the internet on my iPhone, it's going to automatically utilize Bitwarden for auto fill feature. So I'm going to give you guys an example here. I'm going to come to tradingview.com, click on the top right corner. I'm going to sign in. I'm using the email to sign in. And when I tap on one of the email or password field, look at what happens right above my keyboard. You're going to see there's one section says for this website using Bitwarden and the underneath is the email Bitwarden remembered. And I can also click on this key icon, click on it once. I can choose other autofill options or stick to Bitwarden or one of these emails that Bitwarden already remembered for me. So click on it once. You want to enter your master password and click on go. By using Bitwarden, we autofill the email and the password. And all I need to do is click on sign in boom, I'm in. So there's one thing I want to give you guys a little tip on is that sometimes you just saved a brand new password on your computer and then you immediately open your phone trying to log into that platform. In this case, you're going to see that Bitwarden has not yet detected that password. What you want to do is come to settings. Fourth option says sync. You want to click on it once and you want to click on sync vault now. So once you click on it, any new password you saved on different device, such as your laptop, is going to automatically stored on your iPhone now. So that is a small little tip there. And also for future convenience purpose, you can also enable sync on refresh, meaning every time when you pull it down on your iPhone, it will automatically do a sync to pull the most up-to-date password and a newly created account from other devices. And now I want to take you guys through on each one of these menu settings so you get familiar with it and to know how to use them properly. And you can always click on the top left corner here, this icon to pop up this window. You're going to see there's a four types of security things that Bitwarden can help you to save. First one is login. I have demonstrated to you. Second one is your credit card. So you can always add a new item and you can type in your, your credit card. Put this under certain folder. Let's say this credit card belongs to your personal use or business use, you can throw them into different folders, click on save, and now go back. We have a third option says identity. You know, sometimes when you try to order things online, you have to fill in your shipping information. This is really handy in that specific scenario. There's a lot of parameters we can enter and then including your address. So this way, moving on forward, when you try to shop online, you don't have to type your address over and over. You can just simply click on Bitwarden and let the Bitwarden to deploy the identity on the shopping cart that you're trying to fill out and click on save. And right there, we just saved a new identity, right? And the fourth option is a security note. Just in case you have some security information or some things you want to memorize or remember, this is meant for that use. So you can always create security note, give it a name, put it under certain folder, and then just enter your security note here. And if you want to extend it a little bit longer, you can always do so. And then enter your note here and click on save and that's how you're able to save a security note and now at the bottom let's go straight to the settings so you get to know what the settings are meant for for sync i use this on mobile a lot sometimes when you save a password on your browser and immediately if you want to use it on your phone it's not synced yet you might want to manually click on sync so your mobile device can go grab that newly created the password and to use it on the mobile device so sync is for that feature for the vault timeout is you telling Bitwarden when do you need to enter the master password, right? Depends on your unique situation. If this computer is your personal use and use it often, then you can leave it as a default, which is every time you need to enter your master password, if you quit your browser and you reopen it, or you can leave it such as one to five minutes, just in case if you're in an office environment that there's um, a lot of people passing by. So you want to leave it at one minute or five minutes. So this way, every one or five minutes, the Bitwarden will lock the software and then you need to enter the master password in order to use it. For the vault timeout action, you can either say, I want to completely log out or I just want to lock it. If your master password is really complex, it's not easy to type. Just like your bank ATM, you can always use a pin number to enter 
to unlock your vault. So this way, let's say I want to use that pin and then I'm going to click on OK. And then if you click on lock now, it's going to automatically lock the Bitwarden. You can see on the browser too. So you need to enter the pin you just created here in order to unlock the Bitwarden. Come to settings one more time and I'm going to click on Bitwarden Web Vault. I just entered my master password, click on login. Under the top bar, you're going to see tools options. So we have about three different tools here. First one is a password generator, pretty straightforward. We also can import data. If you have other password manager, you want to switch to Bitwarden, you can always use that account to export that data and import it to Bitwarden so you don't have to manually do it over and over. And this support many different types of import options here and export valve if you want to switch from bitwarden to other platforms you can always export to three different formats and you can enter your password and then click on export vault this way that's how exporting works bitwarden also has different types of report feature it comes with six different types of report feature but you need to be on the premium account which is ten dollars a year the free one here to use is data bridge basically you can enter your username or your email address address and check for breaches to see if this email address has been exposed prior and then it's going to tell you that good news this email has not been found on their data breach uh, database now I want to show you guys click on the settings and scroll down you're going to see options so the first option here is to check the domain detection I recommend you guys to go with the base domains even though you're on a different page of this domain it will still detect that you have this account with this domain here there's one option called a clear clear clipboard i recommend you guys to switch from never to maybe five minutes or even two minutes every time if you copy this complex password that bitwarden generated for you every two minutes bitwarden is going to automatically clear the clipboard you probably heard about some hackers are able to actually check your clipboard history to see if there's any unique information saved in your clipboard that way if you want to disable bitwarden top bar every time when you sign into a website then you can always give this the check but i personally recommend you guys just to leave it as a default and leave it alone there is one more option i want to recommend you guys to do is if i come back to etsy you're going to see there's one password saved but if i click on it instead of just show me the login it's going to show you the credit card and the identity which i don't like that and come back to the option menu you're going to see display option here so i don't want to display the card information on the tab page so give it a check and also so I don't want to display the identities on the tab page as well. Give that a check. Once you give this to a check, now come back to your website, click on extension. You're going to see those two options are hidden. So if you want to still have access to them, just click on my vault, click on identity. I can still use it this way or come back to credit card and you can still find those information that way. And for disable website icon and disable badges, I want you guys to turn it on because it will indicate this number to show you guys if you have a two accounts it will show you two also if i click on it sometimes you have many different passwords by saving the website icon it will help you to quickly navigate them around so i recommend you guys to leave that alone and then it comes with a different theme options and that is basically all the settings you need to know and be aware of last but not least let's come back to the bitwarden the web version come to the settings under my account here you can change or modify your name down the road or you can change the email address in case you want to switch the email address or if you want to change your master password and organization for the free account you are allowed to have up to one organization that's limited to two users including yourself if you want to share passwords and so forth within the family or within the team then you can always upgrade to different types of plans here as you can see here bitwarden is really generous in terms of how much they charge every year it's only ten dollars for the premium for my personal use for the last two years i've always on the free plan just recently i upgraded to the premium the reason i upgraded to premium is because i want to add another layer of security by having the yubikey which is this thing i mentioned here or the fido u2f protocol in order to use all these features mentioned above you need to upgrade to the ten dollars per year plan which is still pretty cheap in that case right for 2fa they support for free plans they support for email verification code or the authentication 
Authenticator app. For Authenticator app, this is going to generate a QR code for you to scan with your Authenticator app and enter the six digit to enable it or turn it on. Or you can go with the email verification code method. So personally, I recommend the first two, which is Authenticator app or the UB OTP security key, which is one of these devices. The reason I prefer the UB key OTP security key method is because this is like a physical key to your home. Even though someone has your master password, they have to enter this physical key on the device in order to log into your Bitwarden to see all other passwords. Otherwise, without the physical key, they won't be able to log into your Bitwarden account. So that is my entire tutorial on how to use Bitwarden from beginner to pro step by step. My name is Torio Sultan. On this channel, we talk about all tech, crypto and tutorial based content. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel for future content. Give the thumbs up and drop some comments below so YouTube algorithm can push it to more and more people out there who seek for a similar solution. When I discovered Bitwarden, my first thing is that I shared it among my friends and my family members and I taught them how to use it. Everyone says it's a game changer, especially our parents or older generations. They're really not tech savvy and not good at the computer and they tend to use single password on all different platforms. So maybe this video can help you and your friends and family to have a better online security mechanism such as using a password manager and so you can stay safe browsing on the internet. This is Toriel Sultan signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.